for you. A number of petitioners have filed cases across the country challenging the election of their opponents in the last general election. Now, former Kirinyaga woman representative and gubernatorial candidate Ongoe Girishi has filed a petition seeking the nullification of election of Anne Waiguru as Kirinyaga governor. Former Naro County gubernatorial on an ODM ticket Moitalel Olekenta has also filed a petition at the Narok Law Court seeking to overturn the win for Governor Patrick Olentutu of UDA. Willie Lusige looks at some, uh, some of the petitions already filed. With the clock ticking towards the close of the 28 days window for any petition challenging winners of the other elective positions except presidential results, a number of petitions have already been filed. <laughs> In Aro County, gubernatorial candidate on ODM ticket, Muitalel Olekenta, has filed a petition at the Narok Law Courts seeking to overturn the win of Governor Patrick Olentutu of UDA. When we voted, we voted for leaders we wanted, not for leaders wanted by the IBZ or any other parties that do not vote in Narok. Kenta, who was accompanied by his lawyers and supporters, said they took the step to seek for justice, claiming he was the true winner in the gubernatorial race, adding that the entire exercise was mad with malpractices that saw his votes switched and awarded to his competitor, Mr. Tutu. The county returning officer, Juan Namulungu, actually refused to listen to us when we were complaining about a lot of atrocities that were committed against us. And the good thing it did was to tell us to go to court. And now we have come to court. In Kirinyaga County, former Kirinyaga women representative and gubernatorial candidate Wangu Ngirishi has filed a petition challenging Anwai Guru's election as Kirinyaga's governor. In her petition, Ngirishi alleged that she has enough evidence to prove that the outcome of the August 9 gubernatorial election was manipulated in favor of Waiguru. Two petitions were yesterday filed in Yamira High Court, one challenging election of Governor Amos Nyaribo. In the first petition, a voter challenged the election of Amos Nyaribo as Nyamira County Governor. The people have fronted themselves to face the Governor, Mr. Amos, the voters, and that's why this petition has been brought by a voter. What wa Nyamira wanasema kuwa, how kupigia Nyaribo pura? The people were intimidated. Votes which were casted were not the one which were announced. The petitioner Dennis Omwenga Ayera also sued the deputy governor Dr. James Gesami, the county returning officer and the Electoral and Boundaries Commission of Kenya, IEBC. In the second petition, Rogers Moturi Ogera, who lost the West Mogirango constituency election, now wants Mogaka's win nullified, citing a number of irregularities and malpractices. <laughs> Former Laikipia East MP Dedi Mohamed has moved to court to challenge the election of the service party TPS party leader Mwangi Kionjuri as Laikipia East member of parliament. Mohamed and his lawyers have filed a petition at Nanyuki High Court claiming the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IABC, did not conduct a free and fair election for the parliamentary seat. We have a very strong petition and we believe we are going to succeed and we believe that our candidate, Amin Dede, will eventually become the member of the National Assembly, like Ipia East constituency. Under the Elections Act, those challenging the winning of elective position other than that of presidency have to file their petition within 24 days after the announcement of the results. The courts will have six months to make a decision on the petition.